My name is Scott Ryder. I am a resident of Beaufort, North Carolina, but really I'm a Buckeye at heart. I've lived in the, the central Iowa area for um, my entire life. I always just loved to run. In high school track, I was um, in the state of Ohio as the state champion and broke the um, state track meet record my senior year, which afforded me the um, ability to go to the Ohio State University where I was a scholarship track athlete. And while I was at Ohio State, I was um, a three-time Big Ten champion, a two-time All-American. Scott and I met when we were in high school. We were high school sweethearts. He was having all kinds of problems. He would go out to run and his um, foot would uh, lock up. And that's how we very first knew something was kind of going wrong, but we weren't sure what was happening. We both went one day for the appointment, and it's you know one of those appointments that you never forget because you sit there and they tell you something that changes your life. And they said you know that he had Parkinson's, and we went to the parking lot. We cried. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative brain disorder, and what that means is that there are certain cell populations inside deep portions of the brain that contain dopamine that die off prematurely over time. And when that happens, individuals affected with Parkinson's disease start developing some shaking, stoop posture, they move more slowly, their walk gets to be shuffled, and they can also experience symptoms that are the non-motion type, such as mood disorders, forgetfulness, and things of that nature. When I moved to this neighborhood I live in by the name of Habersham, which is outside of Beaufort, South Carolina, I'd um, be riding my bicycle past uh, the basketball court, and I'd see these people setting up what at the time were temporary nets playing this game called pickleball. So I watched these people play pickleball, and finally one day I stopped and said, hey, can I jump in a little bit? And I didn't get killed. I got abused a little bit, but I didn't get killed. And so pickleball has changed my life in many ways. It's a form of exercise that I can do that's competitive. And I'm just gonna be straight up, that's what I like probably the most about it, is the competition. Honestly, I get a thrill from somebody looking across the net at me and seeing my right hand shaking. They think, oh man, I'm gonna cream this guy. And then I smash the ball in their chest and I think, oh, that felt good. And then I apologize, of course. With Scott, I, you know, I was a little bit worried about him playing, but I think it's been a really, really good thing for him. You know, it's very good for eye-hand coordination, for pushing you to move around on the court in ways that you wouldn't normally. The mental part of the game, I think, is really important. And besides that, it's very social and very fun. Scott is uh, very competitive. He's uh, one of these never give up kind of guys. That's the incredible part about it. I had really never known anybody with Parkinson's that closely. And then to see Scott go out on the court and play as well as he does, it, it's truly amazing. Pickleball contains all the elements that you need in an exercise program to be effectively helping your Parkinson's disease. Exercise is the most vital thing that a person with Parkinson's disease can do to help themselves. Exercise has actually shown to delay the progression of Parkinson's disease, which is something we cannot do with medication. The things that I tell people that have helped me fight Parkinson's that are most important in my life, number one is my faith, number two is my family, and number three is attitude. And I like to say that attitude is as important as the medication I take. And when I say attitude, my reminder of attitude is what I wear on my wrist every day. There's four letters, I, W, N, Q, I will never quit. And that's what I live by, and that's what I encourage other people to live by. And what I've learned through Parkinson's is everybody has a challenge in life. So I wear this on my wrist every day. I give them to anybody and everybody that I can think of and encourage people to live by that kind of mantra of never quitting whatever the challenge is.